Yeah. yeah. Hey. Cool way to wait. Lately, I've been, I been off. Somebody yeah. save me. I've been getting lazy. Cause shit been crazy. And I've been feeling lost. Wish I could get my younger son one of them talks. One of them talks, my OG should've gave. Young nigga, you was always meant to be a boss. Young nigga, never let them niggas think you soft. Young nigga, never let a nigga try to cross Yo, 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 it's your boy Grip. Welcome to the We Outside For Real For Real podcast. Mm-hmm. Some shit I came up with, man. Uh, for the local rappers, entrepreneurs. You know, anybody just trying to get their face out there. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to take off on whatever you're doing. You know, if you really grinding and getting to it. Or whatever you call it. I'm pretty sure you outside with it. That's why I named it that, you know. We outside. I don't mean we out here on some bullshit. That mean we out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? But um, first episode, I'm new at this, so y'all bear with me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, first episode, we got my uh my boy Big Jock. Everybody, give him a round of applause. Oh, man. Big Jock, what it do? What's up with you, man? My dog. About time, man. I'm proud of you. I'm trying, I'm coming trying. Along. You coming on, boy. You doing it. Everything trying, you man. saying. I've been procrastinating, but you yeah. know. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? Might not be when on everybody else's time, but shit. You ain't, your time perfect. This perfect <laughs> timing right here. I don't care what you talking about. This is perfect. Let's see it, man. Let's jump right into it, man. You know, I know. I'm, I've been knowing you since you was about. About, probably about like 15, some shit like 13, that. 13, it was 13 years 13, old. Okay. 13. I've been knowing you since like 13, yeah. but you know, it's some shit I don't know about you. And I'm sure it's some shit that people out there don't know about you. But uh, first and foremost, you know, you got the rap career going on and shit. Yes, but uh, we're going to just start from the beginning, man. Uh, where you from? You know what I'm saying? What's your hood? Where, what hood you from? You know, and what was it like growing up? Oh, uh, man, you know, I'm from, I'm from the flip. Don't let nobody sit up there and say you from Fulton. If you from if you from Fulton, that's cool, but it's a difference. If you from across them train tracks, that's the hood, that's the flip, man. That's where it all went down at, you know what I'm saying? And we, you know what I'm saying? We was big steppers at a young age, so I, I really had to grow up early, but thank God for football, <laughs> college, you know, my uncle and all <coughs> that, man. Who know what who know why I would have been. I I got the worst tempo around this motherfucker, so I try to really Calm it down as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So, um, you know, I don't know if everybody know, but you know, everybody around here know, you know, you was a beast with the sports and shit. So, um, like growing up, how was it, uh, with, with like sports? Cause everybody know, like, you know what I'm saying? You was that nigga when he kind of football and shit. I know you hooped and shit too, but like, uh, I guess basically what I'm saying is, uh, like when you did start, uh, football and shit and, playing like when did you know like all right i can probably do something with this oh man shit basketball was my first love for real i ain't even really take football serious until like i was a freshman in high school and then like my coach when he seen me in like probably about the first in the middle of like the first game when he put me in he didn't really know i was gonna be the beast i was in football but i was defense for real he put me in and i made First play I made was a sack, and I did it so easily. He kept me in the game, and I next thing you know, I got three sacks and three possessions. You know what I'm saying? And it was that easy. And I, and I've been starting ever since. I still hold the record in sacks and, and tackles in Fort City history. You know, so so uh, yeah. what position did you uh, start off playing in uh, in high school? In high school, defensive end, but. I wanted to play running back so bad, man, but we already had a star running back. Who was y'all running back? Dayron Williams. His name was Dayron Williams. He's probably the, he was top three in Kentucky in my eyes that I've seen play. And I've I don't seen even a think lot I know who that is. Dayron Williams, man, I swear he's top three like in my eyes that I've seen play. And I've seen a lot of players play. You know what I'm saying? He's top three with that ball. And the crazy thing about it is when I went to K-State, me and him switched positions. He ended up on defense, and I started playing offense. You know what I'm saying? He went to K-State with me, but Dayron was two years older than me, so he went to a, a JUCO, 
And then two years later, he transferred into Kentucky State University with me. But he played defense, and I played offense. So. And uh, y'all one of the uh, only high school teams to be Mayfield right around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around that time. That's Hell the year yeah. y'all got y'all. Uh, did y'all see your, uh, they, t- they took y'all championship or some shit, right? What before. they trying to say? Some kids was too old yeah, or some nah, shit? Yeah, no, they tried to say, oh, right, we had two ineligible players. Cause, but one of them, they couldn't prove because he came from Kentucky. But the other one, he came from Tennessee. So he ruled out ineligible. He was supposed to sit out a year. And, you know, motherfuckers weren't looking into that instead, until we started winning. And we was like seven and zero. We ain't lose a game, and then they just took all our games from us. Uh, then, what, what was you that year? A freshman? Or, uh, you was a freshman or a so- uh, sophomore? I was a freshman. You was a freshman that year. Yeah, we we lost we lost uh, our last our last three games. So how many years did you and Juice play together? We played together three years. Three years. Three years, man. That's dope. And then I got to play with my brother for three years. We argued, but we got that shit done. And that man. big nigga was the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Was the quarterback. <laughs> he was an All-American in every in both sports, man. I ain't yeah, never was, seen nothing like him. Like, he, yeah, he was better a at football, but he basketball, he just pursued yeah, it more. Yeah, he made sure he always mentioned he bust Hickman County for uh, 50. For 50, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget my 14 and my dunk now. Shoot. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. He got uh, a crazy game that year, man. man. But was, all right, man. Let's keep it going. Um, So, like, uh, your senior year, I know you must have showed out. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what schools did you have on the table to go to before you chose K-State? Um, for my junior year, going into my junior year, I had, a, I had Louisville looking at me. And I really wanted to go there, man. But, like, once I started playing offense and shit like that, man, uh, I had like Marshall, uh, I had UK, uh, uh, just local. And then most of them was like local. Uh, a, ten, a Chicago State or something like that. An Illinois State, my bad. Illinois State. Nigga, did you say UK? Yeah. The coach came down here to see me. The coach accidentally went to Fulton County. And was looking for me, and he went to the wrong school. You can't be no big UK <laughs> fan. This nigga didn't go to UK, y'all. Yeah, man, he came to UK, but he was trying to send this me to a juco. This nigga don't bleed blue, y'all. He ain't trying to send me to a juco. If I could do it again, I would have went to the <clears throat> juco. Though I wanted to play so bad as a freshman, man, because I just had a lot to prove to people, man. Especially you know, being where I'm from, coming from I'm from where I was raised, that man, you don't you don't get chances like that, you know. So. For sure. So uh, how was the college shit when you know what I'm saying when you went to uh, K State and shit like uh, did you just start off killing or did nah. you have to like earn your spot you know what I'm saying <laughs> man I came in behind three good ass running backs on the depth chart two of them rushed for a thousand uh, yards a piece the other running running back rushed for like eight hundred then you got this running back coming in from uh, Frankfurt he got all the hype. You know what I'm saying? Junior year, he rushed for 2,000 yards. Then, you know what I'm saying? As a junior in high school, he got injured his senior year, but then he ended up going to K-State, and he had all the hype surrounding him. And I'm from Fulton. I'm from the flip. So ain't nobody really counting on me to make right. no. You know what I'm saying? These coaches know. They know why I'm here, but these players don't. You know what I'm saying? So I really couldn't really show my talent until, like, the, the first scrimmage. When we the first scrimmage with pads on, man, and um, the first scrimmage with pads on, I think I broke for sixty, broke for sixty first play. Then like the third scrimmage of the uh the third scrimmage before the season, I uh stiffed on the the top safety in our conference, all the way across the field and broke my hand. I still got the mark. I still got that shit <laughs> that right there, went in his helmet, and I had Damn. stitches and everything in that motherfucker. And, that, you know, ever since then, the coach brought us to the office and he, he looked at us and was like, man, we got a red shirt, y'all. Y'all too talented. This is the – we had the most talented freshman class of that, of that time. You know what I'm saying? So he had to – at that point, during that time, I was pissed because I wanted to play. I really wanted to play, but, man, I got it. You feel me? I, I got it. I understood it. I sat up there. I – Focused on the books and worked my ass off. And I hate school. Yeah, but yeah. Like, me too. I didn't, I didn't like school. Hated school, man. For real. But 
football, you'll be surprised what football will make you do a sport that when you when your especially when you're back against the wall, I went up there with nothing. Right. So, but a, but a fucking dream of playing. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make that shit work. It's crazy, man. Yeah, my brother was my brother. But yeah, we we was definitely proud of you down here, man. I seen like uh you know, I said I seen you, you know, go up there your freshman year and, and you know, I guess you was really waiting your turn and like the year after that it was like turn up every year after that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I just seen you turn up. I also seen how motherfuckers went from you know, they know who you are to now they coat riding for real. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they be posing, they know, you know Everybody what I'm saying. Everybody your cousin. Yeah, you know, you know how it go. You yeah, know, man. they starting to, you know. But um, it's something else I want to talk to you about. You ain't got to get into detail with it and shit. I just want to, you know, I know it's shit that people don't know about you and shit you've been through and all that. But I know it was a little situation you went through up there uh, in college and shit yeah. with one of your little partners doing some Doing some, I ain't gonna say he was your little partner or whatever, but I know you was in the car yeah. and some other shit went down. You ain't got to get into detail, you know what I'm saying about it. Yeah. But uh, if you if you can, can you uh, speak on that? Like, uh, how was it? How did it affect you? You know what I'm saying? Because I was around you after it happened, and I yeah, could tell yeah. like you was a little traumatized. It you know fucked what I'm me saying? up, man. I ain't never, I ain't never been on the side on that side of a bullet before, man. So hell yeah, like. Man, and for those that don't know, go on and uh, like tell them kind of like what happened. You ain't got to say no names and no well, shit like I was that. In a, I was in a shootout that, man, I ain't had nothing to do with. I'm in the backseat drunk, knocked out, you feel me? And uh, one, of the, one of my homeboys, one of my roommates, he emptied, emptied the whole extendo out the window at somebody. You know what I'm saying? He was off them pills and shit real bad. And um, yeah, it uh. He ended up killing one, injuring one, and the target he wanted to hit, he ain't even get grazed. So, you know, next day I ain't really think nothing of it. I'm young, dumb, shit. My homeboy hit me up. I'm at a home. I'm at one of the linemen crib, washing clothes. That shit pop up on the news, and I was like, damn. Well, shit, like they finna take this motherfucker from me, right? You know? I'm finna you probably felt like your whole career was over man, then. Like, listen. man, I man, I done got fucked up around. Man. Just, just in the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. Because I remember me, I remember you telling me like you was like like <coughs> nobody in the car knew what the fuck man, even nobody. happened. Like it just literally. And to this day, man, like no, nah, I don't hold no grudges towards dude. You know, he beat the case. So do you uh you think like he was the meds is what did it? Like, Hell yeah, man. What he do get injured in football and they had him on meds Hell or something? Yeah, he broke his arm. In the scrimmage. He broke his arm in the scrimmage. I'm the one that took him to go get his shit. You feel me? And, you know, he was popping them bitches heavy that night. And we was drinking. We was drinking heavy before we even went to the club. I, and we was all having a bad day that day. I just, it, it was just something that just told me not to go out. I, I was like, man, I ain't going. My homeboy was like, man, I already got the tickets. I'm like, man, I ain't going. My, me and my girl done broke up. I'm, I'm going through it. I don't want to go. This nigga arguing with his girl. This nigga into it with his girl. It's like something saying this vibe finna be terrible. Right. But it wasn't. Man, we get to the club. This man, we dance with bitches like everywhere. We drinking good, and then like his vibe off, his energy off. It's just like he just tunnel vision on something, and but we, ain't nobody paying it no mind. You feel me? We having a good time. Like shit, we even it was even a point where my homeboy was like, man, ride with me, Jock. If you ain't need to go meet up with them, I'm like, man, I'm going home, bro. I'm finna go on and hop in the car with such and such. We finna slide to the crib, call it the night. Shit. Yeah. Everybody was finna go to Tally Hose. We missed the turn to go to Tally Hose and made the bust at that uh, left at the stoplight because we, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't, somebody had cut us off to go straight. Man, we must have got to the stoplight. And I was knocked after that. I wasn't worried about shit. I was drunk. That was over for me, you feel me? So I couldn't really specify. I just man, I just knew I got up and I heard the the ending of the shit. Right. And it was like, man. You man, knew I, something bad. I seen, the skirt, I seen them skirt off and shit. Right. I'll never forget it. it mm. white, uh, white Chrysler 300. I'll never forget it. It was a fucked up moment. I was, 
I ain't never seen nobody just get shot. Yeah, bro. I already like, know. I like, I remember uh, talking to you, you know what I'm saying? After that shit had happened, I remember we was in Louisville, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Over dinks and shit. Mm-hmm. And I remember, you know, you asked you, was you all right? And then, like, I felt like that was, like, really kind of like the first time you really just spoke out about it. But, you know, I know you. Plus, I didn't been in the streets. I've been to a whole lot of shit. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I could see it in your eyes and I could hear it in your voice. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that shit fucked my dog up. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't got shot at. I ain't. I've, I've been shot at before that. Man, I got shot at when I was thirteen. You know, me and my homeboy Perk got shot at. It was over some bullshit, but we was just happened to be out there. Like we just popped out, and then like boom, like oh yeah, there they go, circled the block, boom, shot at us, picked on us to shoot at, and uh, but I ain't never been on the other side and just seen it right. play out. You feel me? So. Yeah, it was a fucked up situation. Man. Yeah, I'm glad you uh, overcame that, you know, because you ain't had nothing to do with it anyway. Hell you know no. what I'm saying? So you get past that shit, you feel me? Boom, then you turn it up even more. You know yeah, what I'm 2012 saying? probably was the worst year of my worst year of my life, for real. They took football from me. Like, the coach, that we got a brand new coach, came in. He was he ain't like me, for real. I mean, he liked me as a person, but as a oh, football Oh, so player, after that happened... No, nah, it was before that. Oh, it was before that. Yeah, okay. I had to really, like, man, 2012, they brought a new running back coach in. I don't so, know, uh, like, what's this, your, your uh, sophomore? This is my freshman year. Freshman year? It's your I'm, freshman year? Well, no, nah, this is my sophomore year. Okay. You're right. And, like, man, we just we just had a 7-3 and three season. Like, what's, come on, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you bench me and we go 2-8, two and, two and, two and, two and 10, some shit like that. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you, but it, his his words was I had to switch up my football. I had to switch up how I play, you know. And um, I did in a way, but I kept it the same. So you think you uh not to cut you off? My bad for cutting you off. Yeah, I got that shit bad. Got that shit bad. I gotta work on that. My nigga yeah. can't be on my ass all the time. <laughs> but uh, what I wanted to ask you though was uh, you feel like maybe they come from. When you was in high school, like maybe you got your way more. Man, you know I had saying? to relearn the game of football when I got to college. You had to, man, it was just so much. I was really playing off pure athleticism. Right, you probably got in a, a college and realized like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I just been out here just playing. Yeah, and I ain't so, really just, man, you know what I'm saying, yeah. really knew what football was. I hated was. that coach for the longest, bro. Like, why are you benching me, man? Like, And then, like, I get turf toe. He finally let me get in and I get turf toe. But I had a breakout game. I had a, a crazy half. And uh, we was in Philly. We played a team out of Philly. Long ass drive, man. And I caught turf toe on the last run, uh, the, the first run of the uh, second half. And, like, man, I was out for, like, six games. And, like, the last two games, like, I really had to work my way back. The last two games, I finally did. And we won those last two games. And he Brought me to the field and he was like, "Man, I ain't know you was that special of a player, bro. Your game works." And then shit, <laughs> out with the old, in with the new. You feel, you feel me? me? So I think that, and that, but all this shit happened after the shooting and all that shit, you know. And I was in my bag. I had a baby on the way and some more shit. I had a baby, like man, she she ended up losing the baby. She was going through so much shit with me. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I had a lot going on. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. Your college was years was tight, for sure. And yeah. like you said, you went through a whole lot. That's why, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to talk to you about it, and I want to see, you know what I'm saying, where your head was at, like, you know what I'm saying, how you, get, how you got through it. You know, I might learn something I from you. I was pissed you off, feel me? for real. I, f- I took that personal. I took 2012 personal. And, like, that summer, I ain't come home for real or nothing. I worked my ass off that spring. When I came when I came back that spring, I had a crazy ass spring. I worked my ass off. I ain't start the first or second game, but I still had the most rushing yards and I didn't play the first two games of the 2013 <coughs> season. And I started the rest of the season. Shit, my mama had a whole stroke. Went back to down here to Kentucky. Got pulled over. They took my car. Ain't had no that. L's, nothing. My, my teammates had to come down and get me. Yeah, went right that. back up here. Had 135 yards rushing, three touchdowns in the first half. I remember, I remember half. all that. First half. I, I ain't even played the second half. Like 2013, that was a that was the year. Like man, it was it was personal. 
and I never took football for granted again as long as I played it, man. Like, I always, I was always, you know what I'm saying, to the T, focused on that, how to get better, how to make my teammates better, everything. Because, I mean, if you're doing it, then, then what? If you're doing it just to do it, then you don't need to be on the field. All right. Same thing about rapping. If you rapping just to be a rapper, what the fuck we doing? Right, what the fuck mm-hmm. is you doing this shit? Ain't nobody, you know ain't nobody doing this shit just to be no rapper. Yeah, this shit ain't no doing? hobby until we millionaires. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel me? This shit is a grind. That's why I treat this shit like a grind. That's you know what I'm saying. That's why I, 100 and so, 160 songs in a year. 160 songs in yeah, in a year. Shit, I ain't even counting the songs from two years ago. Like, most of this album that I got, man, is from songs two years ago. That's what people don't understand. That's how much work I put in. That's how much groundwork I laid. Like, they don't even understand. I'm dropping, a, after this album, I'm dropping mixtapes that I ain't got to touch a mic for at least the next year and a half or two. And this shit still going to hit as if I dropped it yesterday. That's the crazy part about it. And that's what, and that they don't understand. Like, man, I behind the scenes, I really put the grind in. I laid sure. the groundwork. I just get <clears throat> beside myself a lot, and now I got to work on that. I really like when I get beside myself, and I just start thinking. Like, I overthink shit a lot. My anxiety be bad when it come to making music. I got to stop that shit. You feel me? When I be wanting to drop, and then I be antsy about dropping shit, and then be like, Nah, I ain't gonna drop it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to do this no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I don't want to do this shit no more. Fuck this. And then I snap right back into it. Like, man, I got to do this. This shit hard. You know what I'm saying? But the same with yo, football, bro. It was personal. All right. I got one more thing, and then we're going to move along to the music and shit. Okay. All right. Your senior year, I see you go crazy. Like I said, I seen motherfuckers jumping on a bandwagon because now everybody see you got a chance. You might get into the lead and shit. Alright. Boom, you got a chance to get in the league. Shit don't quite work out and shit. Like, I know mentally that shit had to fuck with you because I'm going through some shit right now. Like mentally trying to get over. You know what I'm saying? Which I should have been done got over it. Cause I don't even really know what I'm tripping over. Y'all done been in worse situations, worse in life. Like what the like I'm blessed. Like nigga, you're tripping. You know what I'm saying? But like you know, I remember talking to you before it, and I was like, you know, man, stay focused. Like, this shit can change your life, bro. You know what I I'm saying? That. So, boom. All right, we ain't got to get all into it, but the shit don't work out. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Like, how, like, did it take you some time to get over that mentally? Like, how did you deal with that? <laughs> man, um, me not making the, making the, uh, making the Tanana NFL it. It fucked me up. It crushed me for a while. I was, like I said, I was drinking a lot, man. I was drinking heavy. Yeah, I know. It. That's yeah. why I'm trying to talk to you, know, because it's was, me and you, and I know yeah. like other people might yeah, not can get yeah, this out bro, you, but I know was, me, and I can probably get it out you. It so. was going. I was. It was. I was going through a, a real rough time, man, and I was taking it out on the people that was in my corner too, as well. And only thing I knew. And I had a, man, I already, my son was here. I had a, a daughter on the way. <laughs> so it was like, Probably fuck. just depressed, though. Yeah, I was, it, I, it fucked me up. Like, because now it's like, what the fuck now? And then us as black men, I feel like a lot of black men, like, we don't know how to deal with our feelings sometimes. And no, like, we don't. We uh, suppress it with drugs and alcohol, alcohol and shit yeah. like that. Absolutely. So basically, you, uh, you know, like jazz was. Like, really holding you down. Yeah. Some shit you really don't see. At all. With no it's motherfuckers very, her real, age. Like, real, our real. age. You don't see that shit. Hell no. You know where we come from. It's hard to find a few men. Uh, anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And Especially then. With us. And then. Uh, so we can move on to the rap shit. And then you go to play overseas after that shit. Yeah. And before you even get on the motherfucking field to play, you get injured on the motherfucking practice field because the field fucked up. Non contact whatsoever, bro. I felt like, um, like when that happened, and then the recovery process. It was I was a different nigga when I was over there. 
than when I came back. When I came back, I was in good spirits. I was in great spirits. But over there, it was worse than I feel like I the NFL shit times 10 after that, man. Because I'm over here, man. I'm away from my kids. I got to stay over here for another two, three months of recovery. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit was like, I ain't even cry that much when they, I ain't even cry when I got released from the Redskins or none of that. Or the whole process dealing with my agent, none of that. Man, I cried like a baby when my Achilles went. I, I cried like a fucking baby. You know what I'm saying? I, I, but, like, man, over there, the great thing about Europe, you come back better than, like, ten times better than you was when, you know what I'm saying, before the Achilles. And, and I got back 100%, but I didn't want to stay over there, man. Like, I told him, like, man, I'm retiring. I miss my kids. Ain't nothing nobody could do. And mentally, I couldn't get back into that football world just because how I was treated while I was over there during that process, man. They treated me like shit. Like, I wasn't nobody, bro, until my homeboy from Florida, who played at, at K-State with me, came, and he took care of me. He made sure I was straight, you feel me? Him and, you know what I'm saying, a couple of other homies, they made sure I was straight. No cap. I mean, they made sure I was in good hands, man, but. When I got back 100%, man, he, like, he really pushed me. He was there from the K-State days. <clears throat> like, that's what everybody don't know about Jay. Jay and Chad, they really laid the groundwork and really taught me how to play football again. From when I was a freshman to, you know what I'm saying, when I got injured to, you know, whatever I, whatever I wanted to do with this shit, they was there. You know, that's why I called them my brothers, and they was there for me. Outside of football, that's what everybody don't know. That's why I be so close with him. That's why I be quick to tell him, like, tell him, motherfucker, like, yeah, Jay, Jay this, Chad that. You know what I'm saying? You know, even, shit, I say his name, Donnell. Even during that time, I'd even tell, man, that, these is my brothers during this time. You know what I'm saying? Chad and Jay to this day is my brothers. You know, and um, they, they made sure I really, they ain't show me no tough love. Like, Unit was with this. When he first put this music, when we first started doing music, the way he was with my rap shit is the way they was with my football shit. Hey, Jock, what the fuck you doing? But this, you know what I'm saying? They ain't no yes, man. You know, and you need people like you. You know, man, you already know. You ain't no yes, man. You're going to tell it uh, wrong yeah, and you know, uncut. I'm going to tell you some shit. You're going to be like, all right, bro, man, I'll call you tomorrow. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <But> you, <laughs> nigga, but nigga, you try to hear it. Yeah, but, but tomorrow you're going to hit me up and be like, bro, Appreciate you, man. Yeah. I love you, bro. Niggas don't like hearing yeah. that, bro, but I... Nah, you got to keep gotta, it with your niggas, you know. Gotta you know have I do that, I do that to y'all because, you know, you, you don't see it and shit, but, you know, my niggas do it to me, you know. Pete, Pete, yeah. them niggas be on me like that. You know, they check me. Yeah. I'm talking about plenty shit. You mm. feel me? Shit with, you know, they feel like I ain't... I said some some stupid shit to my wife. Anything, nigga, they Anything. checking it. You feel oh, me? yeah, you, you stay wrong, on bro. me about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you on my ass every time. Yeah, yeah for Man, sure. Man, talk you Because you, 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 you know, you know <laughs> I know what you got. Yeah, I know, me? bro. I be on some bullshit. I know what you got. <laughs> Yeah, but man, saying. let's go out and jump yeah. into it. You was like, uh, all right, look, like unit. Okay, now we finna get into the music unit. I know, like that's who you really first started rapping with, right? Kinda. I started first rapping. I started rapping before you. Okay. I started rapping with uh Blake and my brother, and that's where that's where the journey started at. Well, it really started me freestyling in front of Gunny. Everybody don't know this story, but I first time I started rapping because that was to be ghetto embassy was everything during the time. So I seen him at the court and I'm like, Gunny, man, I got a freestyle for you, woo woo woo. And I started freestyling <laughs> and I kept stumbling. And he was like, every day I see you, if you ain't got a freestyle for me, I'm going to hit you on your chest. I said, damn. That nigga used to know karate and, <laughs> and shit. And he used to know karate. <laughs> so how the fuck I'm supposed to Shout fight? out to Gunny and uh, Ghetto Embassy, <laughs> man, and all them niggas, man. I fuck with all of them. Man, Shout how I'm supposed to pay a yeah. But, like, when he finally seen me, I got it together, man. And, like, when I finally got it together and I got that, that high, that feeling of having it down packed when he heard it. You know, that's what I thrive for, bro. But it started off, me laying it on wax was 
at uh, Blake Crib. He lived right around the corner from us. He had the studio session and all that, man. And I laid it on wax and, and it's probably, you know, you know your first rap ain't never that good, but shit. He didn't say nothing about it, shit. So I kept uh-huh. doing it. I don't know, nigga. I was him. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> hey, I wasn't. I'll be the first to tell you. I wasn't, bro. Shit, you know, and I got better. I got real good, bro, like, for real. And then, like, but, you know, it was like, man, I'm, I'm 13 years old during this time. These niggas not finna give me no chance, you feel me? So how are you on Unilink? Uh, Trey and Dre, twins from Hickman. Shout out to Trey and Dre, man. Y'all did a lot, bro. Like, they don't even understand. They have the studio at their crib, and they was, make, they was making the slow music. So we was just, man, we... And I'm, I know I'm a full blown version rapping about taking a girl here doing, <laughs> doing her like this. You know what I'm saying? Doing her like this and all that. I know I'm a full blown version. You know what I'm saying? But then they started letting us do music that we was accustomed to doing, and it and it worked out. And then like Unit, he was really behind the scenes at first. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't really getting on to it like that. And like motherfuckers starting to have to push him to do it. <laughs> And then motherfuckers was pushing him to do it, and it it it, it ain't come out how he thought it was, cause he was trying to sound like Gorilla Zoe, and I was trying to sound like Young Dro, uh, and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? But we finally sat down and he learned how to do it, and we started sounding like us, and we did our first project, uh, J Lock and uh, Big Unit, uh, please no autographs, and that's where PNA came from. Yeah, so oh, that's where PNA came. Yeah. From. yeah. Please no autographs. And after hard. that, the next tape it was please no autographs. The movie that was our group. PNA was the group. Then the, and after that, man, like Unit just man, you, when Unit put everything in the sun, bro, like it's just hard for him to miss. And he put everything into that rap shit. And now it's just like that nigga. Like when I say everything, I'm talking about from you, any any well, genre you ain't of tell rap. Me, nigga. He was the you know goal. I, you know how I feel about you know him. You gotta fucking tell me. We I'm gonna like, get him on here. We ain't even gonna get into it. Right. Oh, him, cause niggas that nigga's sleep the goat, anyway bro. when he comes to him. Shout out the unit. That Shout nigga was the fucking dog. goat. He is the Love fucking bro. goat. I'm, so uh what made you wanna start rapping though? Man, uh even though you know you was rapping way before you, you know what I'm saying? What made me wanna start that or like with unit now? Like what like what made you as a younger? What made you want to start rapping? Oh man! Oh. And then we can answer that next. What made you start back rapping? What the what the what made me start rapping, man? Oh, uh, like I said, man, Ghetto Embassy. Me watching them do it and me coming, we us sneaking in the flip. We had this club called the Flip. I know you remember the Flip there yeah, at the time. I don't know. And um, you had KB and them, uh, KB and uh, Bloodhound them coming down. Felony, all them coming down. And, uh, man, it, like, that's what made me want to sit up here and be like, man, I could do this shit. And, like, <coughs> I was already, like, kind of freestyling and stuff. It, it, you know what I'm saying? We was young. Me and this, I am think I'm, like, sixth grade during the time. Me and this dude named Lil Jesse Isabel. We, and Trey Bradshaw, R.P. Trey Bradshaw. R.P. Trey Bradshaw. We all freestyling together. And I'm like, man, we could, we sound good. Like, bro, we could really do this shit. Like, you feel me? And we started from there. And I started taking it a little more serious because, shit, my brother started taking it serious. He always going around the corner of the Blake crib rapping. And I'm hearing him, and I'm like, man, this shit sound good as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what really made me start rapping. Rapping, you know what I'm saying? Just being around... Being around my brother, Blake, seeing Ghetto Embassy do it, man, like, this shit was legendary, watching that shit. Bible, all them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? During that, that time. Went back, man. Yeah, I took it back, then. I? See, now you know, you know what I'm saying? I took it back, so. Back, back. Look, that shit was a big Bible. deal. Hell yeah, that shit was a big deal during the time, for real. So, man, during that time, I'm like, man, I'm, shit, I could do this. And then, like, my Uncle Mitchell, he he, t- telling us to spit a rap for him. He he a guy friend, man. Now, shout out to my uncle. Shout out to him. 
you know, God for a man, he in church real heavy now. But when he was a street, he was in the streets, he was taking us and he was like, Man, come on, let's kick a freestyle, J Smooth. <laughs> that was my first that was my first rap name. He said J Smooth. J Smooth. <laughs> Jay Smooth was my first rap name. <laughs> so, uh, shit. Then you, uh, you even, um, you even touched, uh, uh, you even jumped in a little battle rap scene for a minute too, huh? Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It was just during that time. I wanted to prove, and now I look back on it, I, I'm like, I really ain't have nothing to prove. But I wanted to prove to Tony them my worth, honestly. Because he ain't really want me to 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 be part of Flip Town Records, you know. And I really wanted to prove to him my worth. Like, man, I can I can write help unit write these songs with y'all, and I can take it even further. I can kill these niggas in battle rap too. You know what I'm saying? I, like, whatever you want me to do, I just want to prove to you that I can bring a lot to the table too. I can bring way more than what they bring. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just a person that can sit in here and get drunk and 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 <laughs> no, I I can really get yeah, in here you and really rap. You feel me? I can rap for real. Like I'm really him. Like you don't even understand. You know, I'm really rapping circles around whoever you put in front of me. Okay, you don't believe me? I'll prove it. You don't believe me on this rap stage? I'll prove it. Watch this. For sure, that lyrical combat shit they get. Yeah, it got so nice at one time too. That's what I'm saying. Saying that, uh, not saying that he ain't know my worth or whatever. It's just, I, in my head, mentally, I felt like I brought a lot to the table that he he couldn't see during the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like me watching that shit, watching them do these mixtapes and do these music videos, and they on these covers and they in the newspaper and shit. I wanted some of that. I wanted that because like that, like I could do that shit too. And. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what drove me to that. But then, like, once football got back popping, it was like, yeah, fuck that rap shit. Let me go and take this serious. And that's that's how that shit was. Bet. So, doom. Then you start rapping again. We're going to get into that. What made you just want to st uh, start rapping again? Because you went from rapping to the battle rap, now you back rapping. Man, I was honestly playing around with it with Unit. I ain't really take it serious. And then like, I kind of got back in like my moments of depression and Jazz was like, you need to you need to start back, you know what I'm saying, doing this. You, she the one that pushed me back into it, you know what I'm saying? And then her and Unit, and Unit sent me a beat one day and it's on the Devil's Work album that uh I forgot what it was called, but it's like, I get in my feelings. Been in pain, but I've been dealing with it. It's been hard to fight my demons, so I've been chilling with them. Especially when I'm quick, something like that. Especially when I give myself the biggest criticism. When you're back against the wall, let's see who really with them. And something like that. And um, I shit, I got that. After that, it was um, Devil's Work. The yeah, Devil's Work. I jump. felt like that's your hardest song right there. Yeah, and it took me. It took me three months to write that motherfucker. Took me three months to write Devil's Work, and then took me an extra two months to just lay it all the way down on wax. So why why it take you three months to write it? Oh no, I I was going back, uh, tweaking shit and like I don't know I could never just all the way get fully focused. I had Jasmine on my ass like, hey, um, you gonna finish it? What you gonna do? Like, let me hear it. What you got Damn, so far? Fuck, and I'm like, man, I ain't finna do this song. And then finally, I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it. And the first place I laid it down at was at Units. When I laid it down at Units, he was like, bro, this is probably the hardest song that's gonna be out. Hey, <laughs> when I heard that motherfucker, <laughs> I was like, damn, what the fuck he on? Man, it, yeah, and I was. And then you could tell, like, you had been, like, it, you know, you can be, you, you was talking, you know, You'd have been through some shit, you feel me? Yo, like, that bro. motherfucker was hard, bro. Yeah, it was no personal. No lie, man. Y'all need to go listen to that, man. Devil's Work, man. Devil's Work, the album, for real. Yeah, it's out. The Devil's for Work, sure. the album out, man. Don't so, uh, shit out. promise. How is it when you got a brother 
for the all that don't know, AMG Juice is his brother. Yeah. So how is it having y'all play basketball together, football together, and y'all both rap? rap. You <laughs> feel me? Is it somewhat like a competition a little bit? Uh, Not saying between y'all, I'm yeah, just saying like you know, you the, you the little brother, you the younger brother. So it ain't no know. competition. It's it's really we giving each other. No, I'm saying flowers. do it like you know to uh, push each other. Like of I ain't course. saying no competition. Yeah, like that. yeah, I'm saying like you know I know it was yeah, competition yeah. with the sports and shit. You can't no, tell competition. Me hell yeah, it was. Football, man, with this rap shit, nah, man. Nah, I know that. I, I ain't saying him. like that. I'm just saying like you know, do y'all kind of like use it to uh. Push Hell each other Cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie Like When I used to rap bro When I got in that motherfucker And you know For those that don't know I used to rap with Committed Camp Like yeah. you know Like I feel like them niggas Was like that back mm -hmm. then You know what I'm saying It was a lot of them too mm -hmm. You feel me I got a song with Committed Camp I made that I made the uh, but yeah <laughs> Like I used to get in that motherfucker And feel like Man I'm trying to go At everybody in this motherfucker mm -hmm. Like to try to make me Go harder you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I ain't saying like, you know, I know y'all brothers is love. I know it ain't just no competition type shit like that. But you know, it's I'm just like, like basically like how is it cause it's that's how it is. If we ain't gonna if we ain't gonna push each other with this shit, what we doing it for? You know? Um I definitely feel like every song I get on the heads, I'm I'm definitely out I'm out for blood. Same thing as he is on my song. You feel me? <laughs> I'm finna, finna, I'm not finna get on your song. I got to quite keep a few songs you. together too. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, I tell them solid. like solid. I like that solid. That solid, yeah. Shout out to solid, man. That's appreciate Je for the video, man. Uh, it, it made the album as well. It's gonna be on the album. Uh, Goat Talk, which comes out tomorrow. Goat Talk come out tomorrow, man. It's gonna be legendary. Just off the strength of man. It took me two years to get this money out the way. But shout out to Solid, man. My brother definitely came with it. But his album out too. And I and I walked that motherfucker down as well. <laughs> <laughs> I walked that motherfucker down as well, man. We, that's just how we is with each other. You know what I'm saying? So you do the little the wave tape. You drop the uh the go get it in mm -hmm. the lost soul. Mm-hmm. And then you turn around and you do another uh a little collab a little collab album with uh called True Wave. Yeah. With Troy. Yeah, sir. So uh, how that come about? True man, I don't think when I when I first got in the studio, I don't think they really took me serious at first. You know what I'm saying? In a way. Because like when I first got in there, like Man, like, man, my beat ain't ready. I've been asking for that same beat for the longest. And then I get in the studio. I got to wait on them to finally make my beat. And it's I already paid for this time. So it's not like this is the first time I started just punching in. You know, and I get in there and I just, I think uh, the first song was success. That was the first song I did there. And the beat wasn't ready. And I'm like, damn. So I just get in there and I just punch in. And that's how success came on. And my brother's on that as well. And then, like, uh, the next song was Go Get It. We get in there, and I punch in on there. And me and Troy, uh, Troy got on there and knocked out, a, you know, some out for me on there. And that motherfucker went crazy around her for the longest. Go Get It was, that yeah, motherfucker that was motherfucker going was off. was nice. And after that song, we did this song called Bag. And I'm like, bro. He don't know it, but I'm putting him on this tape. Then I did a song with him. And then next thing you know, I get in there. I call him. I say, can you make me an intro beat? And he make me the intro beat. And when I did my intro, I, since I hopped off in my bag, I've been focused. We in motion. Been doing the most. You can't touch me. I got so Then he was like, man, who on this? I said, you, nigga, we doing a mixtape together. It didn't dawn on him that we was doing a mixtape together until like the fifth song that he got on the mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After that, it was like, oh, shit, I ain't know. Yeah, nigga, you hard. Like, I don't, I don't know why you ain't dropped none of the music you didn't put out from, you know what I'm saying? But shit, I, uh, he made all the beats. Every beat that I done done from... From True Wave till now, he's made them all. He done made all of them. Him and Ghost, you know. And I'm shit. 
Me and Ghost, we got to get back to working soon. We will, though. But right now, I'm just focused on getting this this project right, right now. Let's talk about that. Go talk. Go talk. <laughs> what 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 we looking for, what we what we what we look what we uh looking at when you know what I'm saying with this one right here? Well, shout out shout out to the man who made it possible with the outro video. That motherfucker went crazy. Appreciate you, dog. You know what I'm saying, Mister Grip. Boy, you showed out for me, man. I ain't gonna lie. So shout out to you for that for the outro video. Man, I appreciate you for man letting me do it. You know, it's my first little video. I'm, I'm trying to get into this shit. I ain't, I ain't nobody special yet, but I will be. That's all right, but I'm gonna make sure I. I, I hey, I'm, we going to the top together for sure. You know what I'm saying, and um. The breakdown about Go Talk, man, and you, it's the, the name speaks for itself. It's it's basically like, man, every 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 lane that you seeking, that's where I'm taking it from. From lyrical to you on club music to you on music with about females from from everything, man. Like I don't I don't shy away from nothing. I just go out. Go off feelings for real, man. Like, however I feel when I get in the studio is how I feel. So what you think the hardest song is on there? Oh, the hardest song. I ain't gonna lie, probably Plus my you got outro. a whole lot of features on this motherfucker, too. And I was, let, I'm gonna get into that. The reason for all my features is because all my studio sessions is like parties. During this time. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Nigga said they like parties. They like parties. And I don't know why. Like, motherfuckers in there shooting dice. It's people in there really rocking with my music. You know what I'm saying? And I got I got the, the We The Wave artists in there. And I'm... And, yeah, I'm, and then that. I'm politicking. You got Pap on this motherfucker? Yeah, I got Pap on... Man, you I got... got uh, Red Velvet? Yeah. Like, on, like, she... Dope for real. Exactly, bro. bro. Now, it's like what you can't sleep on her oh, for man. real. Bro. Wait till you hear. I'm talking about. And she be singing and she, shit. Yeah, like. man, we got a song called Hottie. Well, man, that mug go crazy. I'm got telling ish you. on this motherfucker. Let's yeah. talk about that too. We the wave. What's like? Look, uh, who are all the members of We the wave? Okay, we got me. We got Ish, Looney, Jack, Max Shine. Uh, who else? Man, yeah, it's us. For, oh, Block. My dude named Young Block. Yeah, I see he on here. He hard, bro. On a song called Don Dada. Don Dada, he hard. Um, it's us, man. And it's, it just basically came from, honestly, just off vibe, just off energy. Like I said, you can't fake energy and vibe with people. You can't, that's something you cannot fake. Like, when you in a room, you can tell if something off. And it's never been off when I'm in the room with them. Them and like so when we all get in the room and we 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 create something magical every time. Like we got the wave tape coming out still, the official wave tape with all of us on it. That's why that's what people don't understand. That's why I'd be like, man, we still that's like if you that's like a good 40, 50 songs. We just gotta pick from the litter from all of us and just throw that bitch together. But it's 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 crazy. You know so what I'm saying? You got Chris Will on here. Yeah, I got him on there. I threw him, and he on Fuse. The, that Fuse, I threw Fuse on there because me and him finna do a video to it. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to do a video to it. He supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Lock in and shoot the video. Call this cameraman out. Man, he ignorant. Quit playing with these niggas, fellas. Stop man. playing with them and get serious. Right. Quit fucking get playing. Get serious. Yeah, you been. You've been playing long enough. You have you know, been ain't no playing. Dissing, ain't no dissing that. I just feel like, you know, nigga, I told you, know, you supposed to be shooting no little baby nail videos and shit like that. That, yeah. nigga, that nigga really like that. Mm-hmm. Straight up. But uh, My picture ain't, my face ain't never looked that good uh, on the camera. Travel DSD. <laughs> yeah, I got my engineer on there, man. man he mixed like, and mastered it. Yeah, I feel like niggas be sleeping on him, too. Oh man, he got to tape this from the come out. That's so crazy. It's just man, he just I don't know. He don't take yourself serious, and I'd be like, with this tape that you doing right here, you got to, bro. This is this a game changer. But he don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you be your own worst critic sometimes. You be your hardest critic. You the worst at it. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
You the worst at it, boy. For sure, for sure. Man, I tell yeah, you your worst critic for real. So so let's talk about Big Hoochie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about. I just started some shit. Where did this shit like, come from, bro? <laughs> man, it's not what everybody thinking it is, bro. I swear, me and my homeboy B Love, we chilling one day, bro. And I think it's like Sunday, and the liquor stores is closed and shit after eight o'clock on Sunday. And he like, man, I don't know. We drunk already. And he like, man, shit, my uncle, my uncle down the street, bro, man, he just made some. He just made some fire ass hooch. We can go get some of that. I said, so you a hoochie mama now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. And that's where that shit came from. And that's where that shit came from, bro. <laughs> when nigga nigga said, saying, I'm, I'm with this nigga. They screaming out, what up, big hoochie? What the fuck? <laughs> Every since. <laughs> what the fuck they are, bro? Me and my homeboy B Love came with that shit just on some drunk shit. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't ready to go in the house. First off, this nigga, he already started the conversation. I'm like, bro, we gotta go. Shit. I, I didn't got into it with my with, with my old lady. He like, we might as well stay out. We already <laughs> We already in trouble. <laughs> I said, damn. But you got a point. <laughs> Might as well stay out and finish the bottle, Jock. We already in trouble. And I'm like, damn. And that's the whole time the big hoochie situation and all that shit played out. The next thing you know, I just, he was saying it. Me and him was saying it on Facebook the next day. Like, what's up, hoochie? And shit like that. And I just noticed everybody started using it. And then next thing you know, you got motherfuckers talking about hoochie daddy shorts and all this crazy shit, and I'm like, man, what the fuck? I done, <laughs> what the fuck? I done started, bro. I couldn't believe that shit. All right, and then it's like, man, you need to, you need to, you need to go viral off that, bro. You need to, you need to go on and get get the rights for that or some you saying. I'm like, man, that shit wasn't that deep, bro. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about this. Why you think the uh, the West Kentucky music scene is so divided? Or do you think it's trying to everybody get a little wanna, better? Everybody, I think on account of me, because I'm willing to work with everybody, and I ain't, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't on no sucker shit. On account of me and my team, we the way we willing to work with everybody. I don't, that's from young, like you will hear me on songs with young niggas and everything. You feel me? I don't count nobody out. You know what I'm saying? You don't never know who gonna... I, I network with everybody, but I think it's that everybody want to be that guy. Everybody want to be that nigga. Don't nobody want to sit up here and help nobody get no money. You feel me? Don't nobody want to do this shit together. We can't come together and be Atlanta because everybody want to be that guy. Everybody want to be that nigga instead of like, man, shit, how you do this? Oh, nah, man. You'll give you will give them a little bit of the game, right. but you ain't gonna give them everything. Nah. Them niggas in Atlanta, they really want you to win. Everybody in everybody in Atlanta help Atlanta. Yeah. You feel me? Well, I don't know. But well, all them niggas in Atlanta that done made it, that's that's been in zone six, all them niggas, they done made it off this Gucci man. Come on now, Gucci man, like nigga, I don't give a fuck who you is. If you ain't in here to rap, you need to go. Oh, you gonna rap? Oh, you can't rap? Well, you better learn. Come on. Shit like that. And you never know. Shit like niggas will pop off like that. Right. As far as us Kentucky niggas, like, we just so divided because don't nobody, everybody want to be that nigga. Don't nobody want to help nobody get no money. So, everybody so so divided because they want their gang to win instead of the whole West Kentucky. Me, I want the whole West Kentucky to win. That's why I get on songs with everybody. I don't shy away from nobody. Right. So do you think uh, ESTG and Jack Harlow didn't set the bar so high it's going to be hard for Kentucky niggas to break? No. Nah. Hell no. Nah. You just got to figure out your... your uh, if anything, they, that, they should inspire. That right there should inspire you. You feel me? Because, man, it's been motherfuckers in West Kentucky 
that can rub, brush shoulders with them. Ghost and brush shoulders with them. Wand and brush shoulders with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. We done brush shoulders with these niggas in, out of Detroit. These niggas done brush shoulders with them. Been in the same room as them before these niggas was popping. So, if they can do it, that shit, that's why wine and wine them is keep, they keep going like that. They, Shout out to Sack Leader. Yeah, he Juan. inspired, bro. Little bro. He is inspired. I'm supposed any, to do an interview with him next Yeah, week. niggas be thinking he cocky and all that. Shout out to Juan. I used to play football I mean, with that young nigga. I mean, I know him, so I don't. Me I ain't too. never going to be like, I feel like he cocky. He might be to some other. You know, sometimes you just got to get to know him, motherfucker. Juan right? a cool like, ass nigga, bro. Before I ever met him, he ain't come off as cocky. And, you know, Man. that was before. And, like, I seen him go from here to that. Yeah, I played you know football saying? with him. He went to K-State. Him and GP went to yeah, K-State sure. first. He definitely a, he definitely a yeah. right nigga for sure. So, you got to think. These niggas is not cocky. They inspired. You can't get you can't sit up here and stay down here with these motherfuckers who want to do the same shit. When they, like, you got to get inspired by these motherfuckers up here. He didn't brush shoulders with these people. That's why he keep locking in and keep going crazy like this. He inspired. If don't nothing get y'all inspired, that should. <laughs> You looking at this man yeah, brush shoulders with these niggas. You looking at little. Uh, you looking at um. Uh, Ray P. No. To uh, Vory uh, or uh, uh, Bryson Tiller or nothing like that, but like Jack and G. Mm -hmm. like, they going crazy right oh, now. Oh, I'm saying. And shout out to um, shout out to Ray P. And uh, and uh, Key. Man, they brush shoulders with Sada Baby. They having full blown conversations with this nigga. Brush shoulders with them niggas out in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? They inspired. They ain't being cocky. They ain't on no Hollywood shit. They just inspired by what they see. So, if that shit don't inspire you, then you, man, you ain't you. What the fuck you doing this for? You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. That shit inspired me watching these niggas do that. So who your uh? So who your top five out of uh, West Kentucky? I ain't gonna say Kentucky. I'm gonna just say West. West Kentucky. Kentucky. Um, my brother. First off, unit. Uh, Juan. Uh, that's that's three. That's that's con consistent or just you feel me? My just top my top five. Okay, uh, Juan. Uh, Jug. That's four. Drama. Can't leave drama out. Shout out to drama, man. Can't leave drama out. It's, it ain't even no order. If it is, y'all know I'm biased. My brother first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> yes, bro. You know, the flip, for sure, you know, I'm bi I'm flip biased to the T, but now I see niggas working, you know. You know, but, you know, honorable mentions, you know, don't, don't sleep on, don't sleep on Dope London. Don't sleep on uh uh what's his name? His pops on um his pops on Club Infinity. Uh talking about Lavino. Lavino, don't sleep on him. The honorable mentions and that little nigga coming. I ain't never but heard him rap. Yard. West Kentucky for sure. Don't sleep on Max Shine. Shout out to him. Max Shine. I'm not just saying that cause he weed the wave. He hard. I'm not gonna ever. Shit, hard is hard to me. When I listen to music, I listen to music. But, you know, as far as that got this Kentucky shit, this West Kentucky shit sold up, though, shit, you got to give it to the shit. Drama and wine, they got this shit sold up. And Jug, especially with the merch, that nigga right there. Yeah, I like Jug, too. I'm going to try to get an interview with him, too. Especially man. with that merch, bro. He, he going crazy with that merch, man. He ignorant with it, bro. I ain't gonna my, hold. my wife bought a shirt from him. That motherfucker was so hard. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get some of that shit. And you he, know, I ain't no haters. Man. Like, Where you get that from, bitch? Nigga, in here, in here, sit up here and, and whatever designs you want, say you wanna put some shit out. Well, say you wanna put your merch out. He gonna sit up here and point. He ain't no hater, bro. He wanna see you legit win. You feel me? Oh, you want to, man, well, shit, let me show you. Let me show you. This is how you do such and such, such. Plus, if you want to buy this in bulk, make sure you get this, that, and the third, such, such. Like, for real. If you want to do that shit for real, like, he'll put you. He ain't no hater. He'll stir you in the right direction, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
She just, got a song that uh fourth and ten that motherfucker hard. He got a new one out. I don't know what he was That's on. That's my favorite. Song. Oh, ratchet ass bitch. So <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Who hurt you? Who hurt your heart? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Who made you put that out? So, right, I, got oh. more, I got one more question for you, man. What you think your hardest song is? Uh, probably Devil's Word. For everybody, yeah. Probably, as far as club scenes, su- success probably, but Devil's Word. My my personal favorite, my hardest song, to, in my opinion, it's therapeutic thoughts. I think that song is the most slept on. I, I laid it all out there on therapeutic thoughts. I put everything out on therapeutic thoughts. You feel me? And it didn't really get the reaction that I thought it would get from everybody. I really held you know it to how that, that is, motherfuckers want her to club shit. Yeah. As far as my club shit, solid. Uh, it's a tie. Solid, success, go get it, and um, big dog. That nigga said it's a tie, nigga. It's a tie between song. them four. <laughs> yeah, them motherfuckers is bangers, for real. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm telling you, like, probably them four. Like, no cap. The, yeah, them, but, uh, as far as club, nah, Big Hoochie. Big Hoochie. I think Big Hoochie, that's right. As far as club, that'd probably be, the, that's the that's the number one for me right now. <laughs> but it's my favorite song that I've done, Therapeutic Thoughts. I feel like that song got slept on. I don't, you feel me? So uh who who would you like to collab with that you ain't collab with? Uh around her or just in general. Around her. Oh. Um, we gotta speak on West Kentucky, man. I feel like we be getting one. Exactly the one. That's the only one. And it ain't even that. Damn, you and Juan ain't done no music together? We, it's just timing. You know what I'm saying? That's all it be. Like, we're running been in the to studio each other. We done, we done been in the studio with each other, but it's like he always on the go. Oh, yeah, he always on the go. Move. You feel me? Like, he, like man, he literally bought a studio session shout out, out to him, but don't have to wait on it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we. <laughs> Bro, he, he know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, this nigga Juan literally bought a studio session to say like three words and left. <laughs> to say he was doing a feature for somebody. He ain't like three words off the fucking song. <laughs> he bought the studio session, said three words and left. <laughs> and said and gave me the rest of the studio session. Shout out to Juan, man. Yeah, my dog, Juan. You know what I'm saying? And the, you know, he that's how we is, bro. Like this that's just from K State days, you feel me? To now. He always been solid with me. Yeah, hey. man. Go talk, man. Coming out tomorrow. When you releasing? It's release it's coming out Saturday. It should be out about seven o'clock tomorrow, man. Seven at night? Seven at night. Seven at night, man. It should be on all platforms. All major platforms. Go talk by Big Jock. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 gonna it's gonna rustle some feathers, I'm telling you. There's some of the streets need to hear, it's something that everybody need to, you feel me, base their attention on. It's gonna be something that's gonna go crazy in the streets, I promise you. If a motherfucker say that go talk ain't bumping, they hate you. Tell them about that song you and Looney got too. Tell them to go uh, look at that junk too. Then they yeah, video, also, yeah, me video. and Looney, me and Lit Like Looney, man, we got a song called Say No More, Just Hit. Hit all major platforms. Just drop the video to it. Just dropped on YouTube. Make sure y'all go bump that for sure. Shout out to Felony. He did the video, man. He did his shit, man. Made a nigga look like he was in a movie on there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just levels to this camera shit. And that nigga make that shit look like it's effortless. You know? So shout out to him, man. He the go with that shit. And he's definitely on the tape, too. He ain't just a cameraman. That nigga know how to rap, too. So, got him on the tape. My bad. The album. Man, but shout out to him. Go uh, Say No More. It's definitely the video just dropped. Y'all go make sure y'all tune into that right fucking now. <laughs> man, my boy. I appreciate you, Big Jock, man. My first interview. You feel me? Man, this Won't shit be the legend, last man. one, I'm sure. This shit was legendary. 
It could have been a little better, but we'll work on it. You feel me? Yeah, we, yeah, man, you know. We in the hood for real, so you know. Yeah, we really in the, in the background. <laughs> we ain't, we in the we yeah. in the jets for real. Yeah, we in the projects with it, man. It's the best way to be. Shit, why not be right there in the hood with it, man? Yeah, that's why I said man. when I said we outside for real, for real. That's what the fuck I meant, man. We oh, out here mama. for real, you dick. But appreciate you, my boy. And uh, everybody go uh get that go talk tomorrow, man. Fuck with my boy, support him. You know, mm-hmm. we gotta start supporting each other. A lot more. We got to come together in West Kentucky, man. If Atlanta can do it, we can do it. They just broke the mold. For sure. You feel me? Well, we out of here, man, and I appreciate you again, my dog. Already. Y'all already know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Everywhere I go with street, niggas show me love. Because I'm really trying to be a boss and not the plug. I'm called a killer nigga over my blood. That's for my brothers and my sisters to my cuz. My brother told me stick to sports, he out here thug. I love my pops, but where was you at when I was struggling? Really came from nothing. One thing my brother taught me. Gotta watch my back, it's certain niggas tryna off me. Niggas turned they back, then I came up and now they saw me. I let my kids see me in jail before they chalk me. Speaking of chalk, and I'm done chalking up laws. Yeah, wish I could go back to it all. And tell my younger self before I walk, I gotta crawl. Yeah, and you gon' always have your flaws.